Okay, let me start recording. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to learn. Forgive us from our sins. Please continue to lead us and give us wisdom and understanding, especially my students as they learn, to improve our talents for your glory. Thank you for hearing our prayers and just in your prayer. Man. So, this is the... I removed the delete button. If you want to remove the delete uh, link, you can just comment this like this. But some people might find out about the... The hackers might still find the PHP. So you can just put something like that there in the top, on the top here. Die, let's avoid deleting. So if somebody finds the old link, it will not run. <laughs> it will just say we should avoid deleting and then it will not do anything. In real world up uh, in real world apps, I don't I don't let people delete data. If they want to I let them hide. Like there's a status, is it okay data or not okay data? So like if you go to the line up in IOBs, if you find the link, if you click remove, I don't actually remove it. I just hide it so that you can still know what you what was there before. So that's one of the principle I apply. Anyway, one more thing I forgot to teach you is the select, like drop down. So. I think I have a list of dorms here. So I'm oh, there's only one dorm. There's only one dorm. Oh, the dorms are broken. Of course, the number. Students, users, dorms, courses. We will just add in the dorms. So let's uh, let's let's assume that there is a, an add edit delete something up for dorms, and then that there's the data already for dorms. Nara Mulagas and Pagita. Now what we're going to do is to edit. Equal, uh, Okay, we will add the dorms. <clears throat> Here. Alter table students add dorm. Uh, which dorm? So the student has a dorm ID, which we will get from student from the dorms. For example, if one guy 
lives in Nara, the derm ID should be number one. So we are going to have a drop down, which is why I'm de doing this demo. Maybe we will not add a drop down in add because normally when you come to AP, you don't know where you're going to stay. Or maybe we'll just add. We will just put now. So we will put a drop down here. ERTD dormitory. And then we'll go back to PHP mode. And we are going to create a uh, copy. Uh, we are going to select all the terms, Set. send the uh, SQL to the Postgres. Then we're going to create select. I think we can put the select. Okay, we'll say select <coughs> name is dorm. Then dorm they are going to look for all the contents of the door of the dorm and then we are going to echo option and then the result and then the what is the name of the dorm forgot the uh, field name the field name of the dorm is name <clears throat> then we shall close it with select So when we click add, there should be no, 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 no. When we click add students, there should be a drop down. But there should be a blank here. Let's uh, put a blank. <clears throat> we'll just put an option here that is blank. So I don't know if you saw the, so you already know about the option. This is how the drop downs work, and the code for the option is like this. It's just a select the name, and then option, 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 and then when you are done, slash select. So the the user interface will have, have something like this. You can choose. Now, of course, we have to also modify the select add, add the select submit, the add submit. Meaning, I mean, to also record the DOM, which is very easy. We just add DOM here. 
door. We are using the uh, dorm ID. There's something wrong. In the in the ad, we should put the dorm ID here. Value equals Just check the database if it's really dorm ID. Dorm ID. So <clears throat> when <laughs> parse error in line 33. Option PG result. <clears throat> So there is a blank, and the dorms are here. If you view source, <coughs> the there's op, the, the the ID number of the dorm is the value that will be submitted. If I did not put value here, the value that will be submitted when you click submit will be the nava, the name. But I put value. So the when you click submit the dorm the dorm get variable will have value of one or two or three. <clears throat> okay, let's fix the add submit. We'll just get the dorm and it will insert term also here and we'll add the term now let's try if it's working Let's put this guy in Mulave. Uh -huh. Unexpected identifier dorm. Where? Should have backslash. <coughs> Reload. Dorm relation. The column door. What is the column name I add? Dorm ID pala. Sorry. No problem. Dorm ID, not dorm. <coughs> Submit again. Okay. Oh, dorm ID ang nakalagay. <clears throat> so now we can we can add people with dormitory. And let's uh, fix this one first because it should be the dorm that comes out here instead of the dorm ID. Now there is a database. This is quite advanced database. There is. Now I have to guess this one. See dorm ID. I think we should use left uh, left 
outer joint or something like that. Oh, see, see, I I guessed correct the first try. <clears throat> so you experiment with your queries here in the SQL. So now I know that the query is supposed to be ID, first name. The problem is there is two dorm IDs here, right? So we don't we only want to use one to see one. So if you want to only see one <clears throat> one dorm ID, and then if you want to if you want to re almost rename, you can just put all the field names here and <clears throat> instead of having two dorm IDs which are the same you only use one of them whichever the student's dorm or the dorm that dorm ID and then the name this is this is the name of the dorm right if you put only name here it's quite confusing so we use the as name as which dorm so that you know okay <clears throat> Now let us add this query in in list. I'm going just to screenshot this one. Screenshot. so that I don't forget what it is about. <clears throat> so we're going to comment the old SQL and uh, put all the fields here. ID, first name, middle name, last name, birthday, students that term ID. the term ID. Name as from students left out to join. There's no space in birth date. Okay. Mulave now. It says Mulave. So you can click this one 
or the edit has no the edit so the add already has dorm but the edit has not yet dorm so we will just add that in edit let's fix the edit now edit <coughs> And we're just going to add a door ID here. To get the dorm ID also from the database. And let's let's put in the table which dorm. Or just dormitory. <clears throat> and then we'll put the same select here. We will make a select select the name is uh, dorm and then the value default value Okay, let us get the name of the dorm first. <coughs> um, SQL dorm. reason I'm trying to get the name of the derm is because you want to display it in the edit form. So the dorm name should be in PG result uh, rest D 0, 0. So we should be able to display the dorm name here. And then the first, I want the first uh, option to be the current dorm now let's see if it's correct oh error in line 53 There is no semicolon on the end of echo. Let's reload. Okay, there is the dorm name here. There is the current dorm that the student has. Error 2. What are we going to do when there is no dorm? Then we should have an if here. This is edit. So it will not complain if there is no derm. Let's see. Okay, the derm is just blank. So students who have no dorm can be edited without problem. Students who have dorm, their dorm shows up. Now where is the list of the options? We are going to copy also the same thing from the add. 
So we have another SQL, maybe we'll name it SQL D2, SQL DD. Just select asterisk and dorms. Then four dollar I equal zero. We are going to look to all the results of press DD, which is the result for the list of the dorms. And we are going to echo again the same thing. Option value equals, and then let's echo the letter I, which field? Dorm ID. <clears throat> and then close. And then name. And then we should have some kind of to close the select. <coughs> Let's reload. Okay. You see, you see? This is what we were wanting to do. In the edit student, you should remove the add student. Here, where is the add student? I'm... There's a big add student. In this, uh, yeah, this is the edit student. There is a dorm drop down here. The first one will have the current dorm, and then the next will have the uh, option. So if you want to transfer this student to Nara, now when we click submit, it's still in Mulago because we did not update the edit submit, diba? Right? So we just have to, this one is okay, now let's update the edit submit to get also the dorm ID. And then, we'll just add it here, dorm ID. So we want to transfer this guy to Nara. Okay, now it transfers to Nara. But what is this dorm ID? Okay, it's okay. If you want to hide this one, if you want to hide a column, you can just, uh, for example, you want to select still the, you want to have the data of the column, but you don't want to show it, but you don't want to show it here. Actually, you can just remove it from, are we using the, I think we're not using the dorm. I think we're not using the dorm ID. 
So if I remove it here, it will not affect. It's still okay. If I click edit, the dorm is still here, Nara. I transfer to Sampagita. Sampagita is there. What will happen if we edit the, the dorm of this blank? And if we submit a blank dorm, error. <laughs> you cannot submit a blank dorm. What if there is no dorm? You are staying outside. Let's make a dorm named none. That's the easy way to fix. Okay, so somehow, somehow there will be a non dorm. And in edit, select asterisk from dorms. There's a none option. Diba, diba? So, <clears throat> I think we are finished. We have the add. There's a drop down. It submits. Nara. So, this one is AAA Nara. We can edit the dorm, transfer somebody to dorm none. Now there are two people in none. Transfer to Mulave. Okay. So now you know how to make a drop down. It's called uh, in the database. It's called uh, join. So the select is called a join. And the principle in database is called a foreign key. And the query for making the join is called a left join. See this one, left join, left outer join, left outer join. So with this, we can make more complicated uh, database. Most of the database you will make needs a join.